All right, third community update for the universal data tool. There are now two uh, AWS authentication methods. You can use Cognito or uh, regular IAM. This is what adding IAM authentication looks like. You just put in your access key ID and your secret access key and the region of your S3 bucket and you're good to go. The course proxy allows you to make requests for things where uh, the cross origin security uh, rules don't allow you to access the resource. We introduced this this week because it'll allow us to use the AWS S3 API. There are two new options with S3 IAM upload. So we can hit import from S3 and it'll open up a dialogue and show us all the things we can import from. So we can click on these, go in and maybe go into developer samples and we can import all the files in that directory. They'll automatically go to samples in our data set. We can also upload via S3. So if we click this, we can select a bucket, create a folder, hit upload to this directory, and then drag and drop files. This makes the process of creating a data set much easier. We also made fixes for the login with Cognito, including uh, the detection of the upload state. So after logging in, oh geez. After I log in, it shows log out, and if I refresh the page, it will remember that I am logged in. We also fixed import from S3 via Cognito. So I can click on this now, and it is automatically loading uh, from my bucket. So I can open this up, and I can see um, some of my data and uh, the annotations for that data. I can hit um, add the two images, and they'll be added to my data set. There were other fixes this week, including a local directory import fix. If you're interested in getting started contributing to the Universal Data Tool, um, feel free to check out our contributing guide, which has some videos that can help get you started. And uh, otherwise, if you have something that you want us to build, just leave an issue.